Hello and welcome to OLT 321 European Literature. Uh, my name is Warren Reed and this is Lecture 12, Charles Dickens and Great Expectations, an introduction. I'm going to talk briefly about Charles Dickens, his significance, and then uh, mention quickly something about Great Expectations, and then we're going to jump more into Great Expectations itself in Lecture 13. So here we go. Charles Dickens, he's a great writer. He's recognized as one of the greatest writers you know, uh, of England in the English language. And like other realist writers, he's a, his writing ref reflects the life and times in which he worked. It's the time of the Industrial Revolution, and as in other places, there was an increase in poverty, unemployment, and crime. And Dickens grew up and was born to a poor family, in fact so poor that his fa most of his family was in prison because they owed money. Yeah, in those days, if you owed money and couldn't pay, they put you in jail until you, you know, worked it off. While the family was in prison, he was working at a young age in a, in a warehouse, a factory environment. Dickens worked in that warehouse, and then later he worked for a lawyer, and later on became famous as a parliamentary reporter. And all these jobs gave him experience and exposure with all kinds of people on all walks of life. This helped give him his incredible insight into characters that he created. Crime was his specialty. He's known for his portrayal of criminals, and his criminals are not one-sided, and he, he writes about them with, with a deep understanding and, and interest in their humanity. He's also known for developing caricature and satire. Caricatures, caricature is a form of humor where you poke fun of somebody by uh, exaggerating their characteristics, whether it's physical or, or moral, their behavior, that kind of thing. And satire is a kind of humor which, which makes fun of a person or a situation or a society. Uh, with the purpose of criticizing. As I said, he was a specialist of characterization, and he used a lot of imagination to describe the moral and physical features of his characters, and often, as with others, the external features often mirrored the internal features. Some of the characters are so famous they've even become epithets. Like you might, somebody might be called a, such a fagin for a sneaky, thieving kind of character. He was very interested in theater, and much of his, his work has a sense of theater about it. And in fact, he used to like to give sort of dramatic readings from his books. Also, the fact that his novels appeared serially, like one chapter every week in the newspaper, meant that uh, he had to write the story so that the readers would want more, want to know what's happening. So he created these cliffhanger endings, you know, what's going to happen next week, so that people will buy the newspaper and, and they can't wait, and people would gather around when Father came home with the newspaper so he could read the next installment of Oliver Twist or Great Expectations. You know, that was before, you know, TV ruined everything. <clears throat> so that's how it was, and, and so this also added a, a sense of drama and theatricality to his works, which is why so many of his works have been turned into films. And speaking of films, Great Expectations appeared serially. Um, he owned newspapers and printed, often he printed his own works serially in his own newspapers. Uh, Great Expectations appeared serially in 1860 and came out in the book form in 1861. And now I have a big and great expectation that you'll read the novel. And if you don't read the novel, then I have an expectation that you'll at least watch the film. It's a 1960s version. It's a very good film and you'll, you'll really enjoy it. It's on the CD. And with that, I expect you now to go and do some work. Go and study. Have a good afternoon. See you in the next one, where we actually go into depth on great expectations. I have a feeling, you know, we're really struggling hard for this lecture, so here we go. Let's continue.